New York City, one of the most popular, largest cities in the world, built on fantasy and legend. If you had to sum up New York City with one smell, with the fragrance, especially the city at night, what would it smell like to you? What would you think that New York City at night would smell like? Well, apparently Bond number nine thinks it smells like banana bread. New York Nights by Bond number nine. Let's start this right off with a spray. This whole fragrance to me smells like banana bread, exactly. It smells like unripe green banana with salty caramel drizzled on a loaf of freshly baked warm banana bread, which that does sound amazing and I love banana bread, but for me, I don't know. You know, do I love this? No. Do I like it? Meh. Let's talk about the notes. Mortimer, tell them the notes. Who the fuck threw Mortimer's coat on the floor? I know who it was. It was definitely you, Anthony, wasn't it? The notes in New York Nights by Bond number nine are Gardenia, carnation, jasmine, patchouli, flowers, sandalwood, sea notes, caramel, and coffee. A luscious cup of black joe. I don't think that banana bread and caramel really sums up New York Nights either. Is that the perfect name for this fragrance? I think it should have been called banana bread. It seems a little bit linear too. You do get the caramely warm banana bread. It does dry down with a little bit of a coffee note added in, almost like if you were eating banana bread while drinking coffee. It definitely is a gourmand fragrance. It definitely smells edible. It's just a little synthetic to me. It doesn't quite make it there. You definitely get the Bond number no. nine DNA in this, the caramel note that they do. Definitely you can smell that in some of their other fragrances. This one's not a huge hit for me though. One of my favorites that I've uh, smelled recently is Brooklyn by Bond Number no. 9. I did do a review video of that. I'll post that up here if you wanna check Brooklyn out. But New York Nights, I don't know. Click the bell down below, subscribe. I'm watching you, you subscribe. Because 90% of you watching are not subscribed. So, you know, do yourself a favor and subscribe to this shit content. Now the longevity and the projection of this are pretty good. I would say the longevity is solid, eight plus hours. The projection's medium. You know, obviously the more you spray, the more it'll project. It's not beast mode by any means, but it's not a weak fragrance. Now the smell of caramel banana bread sounds amazing to most of you, right? That sounds great. To me, it sounded great too. So why am I bashing this? Well, I'll tell you what, for $100, I would buy this for the banana bread smell. But for this 50 ml, for $295, this is a little bit of a pass for me, honestly. I mean, it does smell pleasant, but it's not amazing. And for the price point, there are way better fragrances out there that'll smell exactly like warm caramel and banana bread. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. A man or a woman could wear this. It's a very sweet fragrance. You definitely do pick up that salty caramel vibe to it. This definitely could be worn year round. I would say a little bit better in the colder months. I personally don't want to smell like warm caramel banana bread in the hot heat of summer, but you know, in the winter and the cooler months, this is definitely something you can pull off. I would say this is sample worthy. If warm caramel banana bread is entirely you and you're curious what this smells like, then I'll put some links down below. Order a sample, check it out. Do not blind buy this. This is not, I wouldn't say this is blind buy worthy. Not at all. Once again, up top, you get salty caramel, you get unripe banana, there's warmth to this, it's edible. And then the dry down, it kind of tones down with almost like a bitter black coffee smell to it. It's not bad, it's not my favorite, it's definitely not my favorite by Bond number no. nine, and it's not my favorite gourmand by any means. Does the name New York Nights really just Justify this bottle, I, I have no idea. I don't think so. I think in fact, the people who live in New York and go out on fancy night dates would probably be pretty insulted by this. Now, I mean, that's being a little bit hard, but it definitely doesn't captivate that vibe, that history and that luxurious thought of New York City at night. Who would wear something like this? I don't know. If you love desserts and banana bread, you know, and you're gonna go to the park and have a picnic, maybe this is the perfect time to wear New York nights. If you're going out on a date in New York City at night, I would probably personally pass on this. I feel like the original Mrs. Butterworth would probably smell something like this from baking all day and making her breakfast concoctions and confectionaries of sugar. Who wants to trade actually, in fact? Let's trade. Someone swap it with me. Let's swap. You know my email, send me an email. <laughs> it's somewhere in there. Ah, let's give it one more spray. I don't want to, but I'm gonna give it one more. Let's give a loop de under. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you know, I take that back. I said unisex. I'm gonna say, I mean, it is unisex, but personally, this leans a little more feminine to me. And I'm not afraid of wearing flim, 
feminine. I'm not, away, oh, I'm not afraid of wearing feminine fragrances. I do all the time. But there's something about this unripe banana smell that just, I, I feel like an older woman would wear it. And not in a bad way, saying older women wear bad fragrances. But it's not something masculine that a dude's gonna pull off. I just, I don't know, maybe. Check it out. Here, let me spray you a little bit there. <laughs>